Tell a couple of your best stories about the transformative impact of the library. I remember a woman, a mother of two, who, with tears coming down her cheeks uh, and a three ring binder, came up to me uh, in our library uh, and told me, showing me the binder with certificates that she had received by taking uh, online courses through the library. We had a program called eCampus. Uh, where we offered over 800 classes on career development, self-improvement. And she had taken class after class and earned these certificates and put them in this binder and talked about how important that was to her and going out and finding a job and how she had, had found a job uh, and really credited all of this work that she had done while being unemployed uh, through our, our eCampus. And uh, that was a wonderful reminder about how impactful and life-changing the public library can be. You know, I think about uh, the individuals who come to the Los Angeles Public Library to take their first step on the path to U.S. citizenship, uh, where they come to our library, special spaces in each of our 73 libraries called Citizenship Corners, and, and find out about that process. Uh, and what better place than the public library, approachable, an institution that says this every day, that is having impact on people's lives. Uh, and these new Americans are finding out about all of the other wonderful resources that our libraries offer. But it's not just about the innovative special initiatives. It's remembering that the library can have an impact by simply being that place where a senior comes every week to check out books. Uh, and it, it has huge value to their quality of life. It's where uh, a, a young person comes to be safe because it's the only safe place really in their neighborhood to go after school. It's the only place someone can go for computer access to do their homework. Uh, and for many in our community, I think of homeless individuals, it may be the only place in their daily routine where they get respect. And I, day after day, walk by our circulation desks, our other service desks here in this building, and I see our staff treat everybody who comes up to that desk just the same as they would treat the mayor of Los Angeles. And uh, that is very powerful and very important for people to know and important for library advocates to know and to be able to talk about that and to, to tell that story. Uh, it's, uh, it's an incredible place and, and also important for us to know, those of us in the profession, our friends at the library, our supporters, our advocates, to know that those moments of impact happen every single minute in every single one of our libraries. Uh, and, and our libraries are that important. Well, I think it's remembering that everyone is a library person. Everyone has a library story and everyone can be a library advocate. Too often, I think, we look at our elected officials and we look at a city council or a county commission or a legislative body and we think, oh, that's our library advocate. That's the library commissioner or that's the arts commissioner that's the, the library legislator because there are those who certainly are particularly passionate and particularly strong when it comes to standing up for libraries but every single one of them can be a library advocate and I think we have to approach library advocacy that way and know that no one wakes up in the morning deciding to not like libraries or to fight against libraries they just haven't uh, they haven't been pitched in the right way. Someone hasn't talked to them about what might motivate them to become a library supporter. You know, when I think about public libraries, I think about them as arts organizations, about as workforce development organizations that help people find jobs. I think of them as economic development organizations. So for some elected official or stakeholder in the community, it may be talking about how the library has an impact on economic development. I'm reminded of a commissioner uh, in, uh, uh, in Atlanta who his spot of motivation uh, was not like not wanting to be second to anyone he wanted he didn't like the idea of any of the services that our local government provided being not as good as other cities so talking about what other communities did and, and how we might not compare as favorably to some other communities was a, a big motivating factor and so I remember talking about the library's budget, specifically the amount of money that we spent on collections. Uh, everything from children's books to e-books, uh, uh, e downloadable resources, all of the things that we provide in terms of content. 
and how what we spent compared very poorly to what other libraries uh, spent. And I used uh, the, an example of another city, it happened to be Cleveland, Ohio, and I talked about how wonderful and how much they spent per capita on collections. And he just put his hands on his chairs and almost leapt to his feet and immediately made a motion to increase our budget by a million dollars uh, for uh, our, our budget. And after he began that discussion, uh, we wound up uh, with uh, an additional uh, half a million dollars for, for collections. So just motivating him in that way helped lead to greater advocacy and brought you know, a significant amount of money. And I, I think we just have to remember that he was not known as a library advocate or a super library cheerleader, uh, but he certainly became one. So you never know in what instance you can influence someone and grow new advocates That's for the exactly library. Right. Yes. Finally, what do you wish library advocates, be they librarians, library board members, friends of the library, or fans, understood better that would make them more strategic and effective advocates? First of all, it's not hard. I think too many people uh, think about library advocacy as something that is incredibly challenging or difficult or that mm, I may not have the right skills for it. Um, and also that people who, to, people who love the library and want to be library advocates and feel very passionate about the library feel that they have to be an expert. They feel like if I'm going to go to a budget hearing and talk about the library's budget and ask for more money, boy, I better have my facts down. I better know what the budget was last year. I better know what the numbers And they get intimidated, and then they don't go. And the truth is that if they just, the, the most inarticulate person, if they could, if they just go up during public comment or they pick up the telephone or send a short email and just simply from the heart talk about what they love about the library, I have seen a single community voice, a single mom with her three-year-old come to a budget hearing and simply say, I don't know what I'd do without the public library in my life. The public library means everything to me and my three-year-old. Uh, and, and I've seen that absolutely change faces and, uh, and create library advocates and make big differences in library funding and attitudes toward the library. Uh, so it's, it's really remembering that it's, it's not hard at all and that everyone can be a library advocate. It's certainly understanding that uh, the, the most powerful tool in library advocacy is the story and being able to talk about the impact and how diverse that impact is and how the library is unique, a public library is unique certainly in the community in that we serve everyone. The, the wealthiest in our community love libraries and people who never walk through our doors can be our best advocates because there are people who uh, may not be regular library users but understand how valuable libraries are in their communities so uh, and, and it's also for those of us in the profession understanding not to speak in, in, in with library jargon talking about you know interlibrary loan statistics or all about circ numbers we have to be able to tell the stories of how our libraries are having an impact and how people are, uh, the diverse ways in which people make use of our libraries and how libraries serve communities in, in very, very different ways and helping our, our stakeholders and advocates really understand that. And when you're fired up about it, it's easy to do.